happy to have a chance to be back involved again. Yeah, I'm buzzing to get going again. It feels like uh, about three or four weeks I've been out, but yeah, I'm buzzing to get going again. How has it been these last few weeks for yourself? Um, it's been a, it's been difficult because I'm not playing. Obviously, I love playing football, so it's been difficult and with all the changes going around the club as well. But I just want to apologise for my for my tackle and letting the sports down. And I've already apologised to my teammates, so there was no malice in the challenge. I just tried to get the ball, and unfortunately, I didn't get the ball. So yeah, I'm, I learned from it, and I'm back now. Yeah, obviously the previous head coach had something to say after the game about yourself and your, and your career. How did you feel when you heard that or read that? Yeah, it was a surprise to me personally, but I'm not going to go on camera and start saying he's this, he's that. It's, it's, it's football, he has his opinion, he can say whatever he wants, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, was there anything in it that you thought, yeah, I agree a little bit in terms of, of how you want your career to go and, and where you are at in your career? No, I don't agree with any of it. <laughs> um, and I guess that uh, although you you know, these things happen in football, there is that almost wanting to prove a point now after having a few games off. Yeah, of course, I know. I, I've, had a, I've had a good start to the season. It's just that, that, one, that one tackle that's put a, kind of like a, not a dent in my career, but make me, makes me look a little bit bad. But I'm here to not prove people wrong, but prove people right. I've, I've had a good start to the season, so now let's, let's just kick on again. And you must have enjoyed it, in a sense, on the sidelines, watching the last few games, especially the performances the team yeah, put in. Yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a new energy to the squad. There's a, the players in the dressing room like, are so talented. And I think you're seeing that now with how we're playing and how we're building up from the back and stuff. Uh, it's a, it's a, new, a new way of doing things, but everyone's enjoying it. And the, the tweaks that, that Tom's made since he's come in, how do you think they'll benefit you if you do get that place in the starting eleven? Yeah, it's a good end for me because I'm normally I'm used to playing it from the back and build up play and a bit more freedom. But I'll, yeah, we're, we're playing well, so hopefully I go back in the team and and show what I can do. Yeah, and that must be I guess a, a bit of a challenge as well because of the form of the players. That it's not a guarantee you're going to get that starting eleven yeah, place. Exactly as I said, the, the squad in there is is unbelievable and everyone's fighting for a place. So yeah, I'll, I'll do what I can do. I'll do what I can to get back in the squad and just keep working hard. Um, Jack Moylan's due over soon. He you know he's just finished over in the, yeah. the, the League of Ireland and finished in style as well. Yeah, I seen he got a hat trick there the other day. Uh, another Irish man coming over to England as well. So we're kind of taking over a bit, aren't we? But yeah, I'm excited to see. It. I've never actually pl played with Jack, so I know his ability. So I'm looking forward to playing with Jack. And do you think with yourself and, and Dylan and that those moves that you've had from coming over from the League of Ireland to playing in League One, do you think you'll be able to help him settle in and get used to what life's going to be like? Yeah, of course we'll do. We'll help Jack in whatever way we can and we'll be there for him if he needs us but I'm sure his, his talent and his ability will fit right in. 